Ooh, I've been I've been away all day and I just came home and I see that there is patch notes. There is a date of the update and I missed everything. And I can't wait to uh, get right into it and uh, take you with me. In case you haven't heard huge news yet, you're in the right place. And even if you heard the huge news, you're still in the right place because you might want to see uh, and hear my opinion. So let's get straight into it. Patch notes have arrived for Dream Snaps update. See what's new in this feature focused update launching July 19th at 9 a.m. It's this Wednesday, guys. In two days. On Wednesday, we're getting Vanilla P, Dream Snaps, and probably a lot of other cool stuff. I'm sure, I'm sure this is gonna blow me away. They never disappoint with their patch notes, so let's get all the details. Oh, the game is on sale? On Steam? It's always weird to me how like deluxe version is priced almost as much as ultimate version. Ooh, what is this? What is this? I don't like this. But anyway, let's not get distracted. We got patch notes to go through. Howdy, Valley Villagers. Well, hello there. It's almost time to sugar rush into our next update. Nice. Mark your calendars for July 19th. Done. I'm going to be here all day making lots of content. I'm ready. Uh, for when you can race into the new quest with Vanellope and interact with your first multiplayer feature, Dream Snaps. Let's get into it. In addition to sweet new content, you can expect a variety of bug fixes and improvements out of the updates that focuses on improving quality of life around the valley. I, I call 45 degree angles, but I don't know. From better efficiency, hovering around to Switch specific performance improvements. My friends that play Switch are gonna be absolutely ecstatic to hear this. Hopefully this time they actually fix things. Cause I heard I heard from some Switch players that last update made, made things worse. So hopefully it's gonna improve this one. Alright, new content. Flex your creativity and compete in weekly community-wide photo challenges with Dream Snaps. Each week earn a variety of prizes for participating, including moonstones, furniture, and closing items. I wonder if there's gonna be like unique furniture clothing items. Like how how are they gonna do it? Are they actually gonna have a new furniture clothing item uh, released every week for this? I don't mind, but that would be super cool. In my opinion, a good furniture item could be worth even more than moonstones because like to get a good quality furniture item from a premium shop, you need at least a thousand moonstones. If you get 300 moonstones and a furniture item, that's a win in my book. Please note, Touch of Magic closing and furniture are not compatible with Dream Snaps and cannot be included in submissions in order to keep the feature a fun environment for all players. Excuse me? Wh why on earth not? Okay, this is this is this is very controversial. On one hand, I understand why they did it because probably 99% of people never going to use Touch of Magic to design their own furniture or clothing ever. And that means and let's be honest, custom designed uh, furniture and clothing would make the photos look unique, interesting and fantastic. So in that case, they're just trying to level level out the playing field so people can use only the items that come from just playing the game. But on the other hand, it's it it, it, it like puts a cap on the creativity. There's so many creative people out there who can and would go all out, create like a whole custom set for their photo, put a lot of effort into it, and probably win. And that would be fair. So I don't know. It's like on one hand, but then on the other hand, in the end, we're going to see how it's going to be and we'll see. Uh, it might be a good thing. It might be a bad thing. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Vanellope loads into the valley, bringing her with her some sweet new friendship quests and items to earn. Okay. Keep up with Vanellope with more efficient hovering. The energy drain when hovering has been reduced by 80%.
guys, do you realize what it means? 80%! You will have to eat five times less often. One food item will give you five times more. And hovering than before. Okay, I, I suspect that they were gonna increase, uh, like decrease the energy, maybe by 15, 20%, because a lot of people say that the food runs out too fast. But 80%, it's insane. It's so much more than I could have imagined in my wildest dreams. That is incredible. Not gonna lie, now I'm, I'm gonna be hovering everywhere. I mean, I still was. But now you're not gonna need as much food for it. Best change ever. Let's move on. The video capture feature built into Nintendo Switch hardware has been disabled, helping to reduce the frequency of crash rates. Oh, so that was what was causing it? So, so maybe that's why some people had bad experience in Switch and some people have good experience in Switch. Maybe some people have this feature enabled and it keeps bugging down their device and making the game crash. That explains a lot. The dev team is continuing to closely monitor this topic as they consider further changes to improve performance. That is awesome. Please note video capture via capture card and screenshot capture on Switch are unaffected. Great. General stability has been improved on Switch. Amazing. Always good to hear. Inventory of Scrooge McDuck store has received a slight rebalance to reduce the chance of duplicates appearing. This is a small preliminary tweak as we investigate this topic further and look into changes that could be made for future updates. I'm dead. I'm in heaven right now. Scrooge shop is gonna give you less duplicates? Is this real? Is this, is this for real? My refresh streams are now going to be 30 minutes long instead of 3 hours long. <laughs> this is incredible. Just this and hovering, that's it. This update is already the best for me. Such a good feature. Such good features. But it doesn't look like we have any new content except Vanellope's friendship quests, which is a little bit disappointing. But I guess this was like a, a, a in the middle update, so... It wasn't like the main update, so I, I guess it's I guess it's acceptable. Okay, I'm not gonna go through all the bug fixes. I I will have them on the screen right now. Feel free to pause the video and see if the bug that you've been having. Let's see if it's been fixed. Uh, and uh, yeah, bunch of quests, bunch of features, great, awesome. Fantastic, amazing, and that is all. That is all, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's a pretty small update. We didn't get lots of stuff, but the stuff that did we we did get two major quality of life improvements. First feature from the multiplayer, and Vanellope doesn't look like she there's gonna be any other characters unless it's a surprise. I'm happy. I'm happy with this because the next major update is coming in September. And uh, I'm going to be on vacation in a couple of weeks. So this, this is the perfect timing for this update. I have enough time to cover everything. Then I take a break. Then I come back in the end of the August and like, bam, new update. Super cool. All right, guys, what do you think in the comments? I think it's absolutely amazing. And also, there's been another post I want to cover in this video. Yesterday, they posted, beginning with the Dream Steps update, you will receive a new challenge each week where you'll be given the task to take a photo that meets specific requirements in the valley. Want a hint for week one? All right, let's take a look. So we have a crown and we have a castle. So, I'm assuming we're gonna have to take a photo of the princess in front of a castle? So this is not just about decorating, it sounds like. It's more about a framing framing of a, like a good picture. 
So you don't even have to, sometimes probably won't even need to use any furniture items. You, you'll just have to frame a really good picture that matches the certain theme. I like it. I like it. I can't wait to see how the voting is done. I hope it's fair. I hope it's great. What other challenge themes would you like to see in the future? The opportunities are limitless. I want to see... Uh, I don't know, I want to see a theme of getting Scrooge to take a vacation where you actually take a, <clears throat> like an image of a Scrooge relaxing instead of working all day. That would be my main uh, theme for, uh, for the challenge. But yeah, I'm excited for any challenge. Let's go. Let's see how it shapes out. And I see you tomorrow. Actually, I will probably see you... No, yeah, definitely tomorrow for this live stream and a video. We're going to have a special guest tomorrow, and you're not, you're not going to miss it, so subscribe right now. All right, guys. Huge thanks to all of our supporters. Thank you so much for watching this channel, supporting this channel, and I'm super excited for the update. Let me know in the comments which feature mentioned in the patch notes you're the most excited about. For me... It's, pr I mean, if you're playing on Switch, it's obvious, but for me, it's probably going to be uh, the, uh, what was the other thing? I already forgot. The Scrooge, the Scrooge store rebalancing. Looking forward to that so much. Huge thanks to all of our legends, especially our new legend, Valerie. Guys, warm welcome for Valerie. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you, Itzka, Quinn's Cozy Corner, Amanda Davis, Natalie Clark, our awesome four demigods. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one, and take care.